What's up you guys? I feel like everyone already know who I am by now, but if you don't, this is Aisha too. I go by Aisha. It's supposed to be Aisha, but whatever. No one gets it right in America. But by the title of this video, you already know that I'm going to show you guys how I pack my makeup. Um, let's just get right into it because I mean, that's what you're here for, right? So let's get into it. So this is their vanity case. Um, I believe I paid $75 for this, but I'll insert the information on the side. It's very sturdy. Um, I loved getting on the plane with this. So let me just show you what I put into this because CSA got me all the way messed up and I just make sure I carry my stuff on the plane now because you're not about to mess up my stuff, you know? So yeah, let's see what's inside. So first I'm going to pack this section of the vanity case slash mini luggage. I purchased a clear cosmetic bag from Target because I just really wanted to see where everything is in general. I went ahead and got two sheet masks from Sephora. Um, I also got a clay mask to pack in here when I'm in the hotel and it just gets like really, really, my skin gets really dry. I have something for that. I got two hair ties in case I wanted to put my hair up. I got the travel size ultra repair cream for dry skin. I have oily skin, but I don't mind using dry skin products anyways. I also bought the facial spray because I don't like the heat like that, you know? And this, this is everything. I got the Clinique sample size dramatically different gel. This is actually what I use every day. So I just use my Sephora points and got the mini size. So that's a trick you could do too when you're traveling hand sanitizer because I mean who wants to be 30 I got my Fenty Beauty what you call this paper thing you know when your face get oily or whatever you need this I got chapstick because who wants dry lips this is my portable perfume if you've seen what's in my bag you've seen that I've had this for years and it's useful I got my hand cream because I'm tired of being ashy which is one of the reasons why I had to film this video again. Um, and I also got my jade roller and this flat surface rose quartz thing for my face. It's good for inserting um, my daily cream into my face. I also have my portable mirror slash charger to board on the plane with. And what's great about this as well is that I can just take out whatever I need and transfer it into my bag when I'm at my destination. Cause who's gonna be like going around with a vanity case in the city when they're back? Not I, <laughs> okay? Oh, I forgot two things that I actually use. Um, I'm getting dental floss and also a pack or two of Tylenol because I suffer from headaches sometimes and I'm not trying to let that ruin my trip, you feel me? So what I'm about to do is, I have more room here. Actually, let me flip it around. So I have a little bit of room here. I'm going to go ahead and add my chargers. So I have my laptop charger, my camera, my vlogging camera charger, and my iPhone charger in here. So that's pretty much it for this side. Now let's get into the other side. I wanted to keep it simple and cute. I didn't want to overpack and, you know, bring stuff that I didn't really need because what is the point, you know? So let's get into the makeup side. This was the skincare and just charger side. And now I'm going to get into the makeup side. So the first thing I'm going to do is pack this section and just put miscellaneous items that I use for my eye makeup. Okay, so I switched angles a little bit so you could like see a little more. So now I'm going to go ahead and pack like random eye products, lip glosses. Um, I think that's pretty much it on this side, but we'll see. Um, so the way that I plan to pack my makeup was just in the order that I would apply my stuff. So I just pulled out everything, set it aside, and then just went along and like refresh my memories. Like for example, I do my eyebrows first, then I set it with foundation, then I do my face, contour, and things like that. So I just made sure I pulled as if I was doing my face, and then I set it aside and then packed it. So I have my lip glosses, 
I have eyeliner, mascara, eyelash primer, eyebrow pencil stuff, eyeshadow primer, my Sephora eyeliner, so I have the nude and the black in case I'm doing like a neutral dramatic look, lip liner, eyelash glue, I have my eyelash scissors and my tweezer. I might change my mind later and put this in my luggage because I don't want TSA to throw this out and then, you know, I need to use the scissors and I'm gonna be upset. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pack the remaining of my makeup in here. So the first thing I'm gonna put is the biggest palette and I have my Morphe 39A palette stuffed perfectly actually in here. Next, I'm going to put my highlight and my contour. So now I'm using the Anastasia Sun Dipped Highlight Palette. I have four different shades, so I don't want to bring like different highlights. I'm just going to bring one palette. Um, I am going to go ahead and put my BH Cosmetic Medium to Dark Contour Palette right in here. So now I'm going to put my concealer and my cream contour. I'm putting my Fenty Beauty Contour Sticks it's just perfect it just sticks together and I can stuff it with my Fenty Beauty the cure concealer I am bringing two eyelashes so I'm using Muse and I'm also using T's Muse is more of like the natural side and T's is more like fat fat foam I'm probably gonna use Muse if I put lashes on I'm putting my Laura Mercier translucent powder here and then I'm putting my two blushes right here I'm going to put my Queen Latifah bronzer that I use has a blush Just add it right here and then I'm going to put my Fenty Beauty lipstick in here I can also put it right here but I guess I want it here and that's pretty much it I'm gonna close this up and lastly I want to put my laptop in here because I might want to use it on the plane or when I land to edit stuff, who knows, but i rather have my laptop and you're about to find out how obsessed I am with rose gold because I have a rose gold laptop too. And then I'm going to close this bad boy up. I mean it's heavy but it's not unbearable, like this is like two grocery bags or like I guess like a bag of like milk and juice. <laughs> But it's going to be on top of my standard size luggage anyway, so it's not really bothering me. So guys, I just wanted to quickly show you how I would pack my foundation. So I'm bringing my Desium Lightweight Foundation, and I'm going to stuff it in here. Um, I have my Fenty Beauty Primer. I only really need one primer. I don't need like 5,000. I have my Fenty Beauty Full Coverage Foundation, so in case like for the full coverage nights. And then I have my NYX setting spray. I'm just putting all of this here. And I'm going to put this in one of my packing cube. And it's going to go into my luggage. My luggage is exactly like this. Just a standard side luggage. And I think it will be safe if I put it under my towel. And let me show you what I use now. Hotel lighting is awful. So this is the mirror that I'm traveling with. And when you press this, it lights up. And I, it's just like true to daylight and I like to use this when I'm in the hotel instead of the hotel bathroom. It's just convenient for me and I'm also like kind of blind so this works out. And it actually stands but I'm not going to like put this here because it's kind of hard to remove. And you get to put extra stuff in here but I'm probably not going to do that. I like to put everything back where it belongs so I don't forget. So this is it you guys. Like I said, you can put your makeup brushes in a Ziploc bag. Don't pack too much because then you're more than likely going to be overwhelmed and forget stuff. And yeah, that's it. That's pretty much how I pack my makeup. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.